Davis, Neil Sika, the Ohio State Hall of Famer, Andre Flaw, here to have some fun. Welcome to Fury Volleyball, the PBF here on YouTube. A good one tonight. Columbus taking on the Grand Rapids Rise. Audrey, right now, P stands for parity in the PVF. Three through six, it's a game out between those spots. And right now, these teams occupy three through four, and they want to play better. We've got a good matchup on our hands. Columbus looking for a little restitution. The Rise have won both meetings this year. Yeah, when you talk about the Rise, you cannot help but mention Claire Chasse. She is one of the most elite six rotation players in the league. You know, what I like about her is she plays light. She competes hard. She's really calm in the most toughest situations. So I like what she does in pressure situations. She's going to be bang on tonight for the Grand Rapids Rise. The Rise have lost four of their last five matches coming in, including a St. Patrick's Day matinee against the Vegas Thrill. For Columbus, now they've had nine days off since their last match. They lost that to the Thrill. Looking to restore some order here at home. But it's not like they were unoccupied during that time. They did the first in-season trade in league history, and they got themselves an All-American setter in Tori Stringer, who comes in to run the show, and she knows the coaching staff very well. Angel Perez had her down in Puerto Rico, where they won a championship there. This could be a difference maker for the team. Yeah, that was one of the biggest surprises in the league, was Atlanta sending Dilfer uh, Stringer over to Columbus in exchange for Columbus's first-round pick in 2025 and 2026. Dilfer Stringer is an amazing player. Great physical uh, abilities that she has as an elite setter. Super fast, great hands, but the connectivity is going to be what's going to be in question tonight. How can she connect with a team that she hasn't been around for very long? Will she adjust on the fly? We'll wait and see. Well, Columbus has been injured for a lot of this season and mostly in the department of their number one pick in Asia O'Neill, but She's healthy. She's going to play tonight. Angel Perez referenced the fact that this is the healthiest we've been all year. We had three of the best practices during this layoff. We'll see if that comes to fruition here on the floor. Three of the next four are in this building. Yeah, the Columbus Fury is thrilled that they have a healthy lineup. And again, the fans are really excited to see Asia O'Neill see what she can do in the middle for this Columbus team. There you see Asia O'Neill getting introduced. Samantha Drexel, who's also coming back from a concussion. She hasn't featured since early March. And the reception for Tori Stringer. Two first round picks over the next two years. Back on March 14th, the trade made with the Atlanta Vibe, the team that's currently in first place in the PVF. Hoping to set the fury ablaze down the stretch. We're at the third of the season mark in the PBF. Columbus Grand Rapids meet for the third time and when we come back, we've got first serve for you. It's the PBF on YouTube live from Columbus. future generations. Back inside Nationwide Arena. Ninth game of the young history of the Columbus Fury. Grand Rapids, this was the inaugural match for each team back on January 25th. It feels like two years in between that time <laughs> with the way the schedule has worked out, Audrey, but for Columbus, they know they weren't their best in that one because they were injured. And the last time they met just about two weeks ago, 
It was a struggle. They had a great second set, but the block game of the rise really made the difference in that four-set winner. Well, you, you recapped those two matches perfectly, and I will tell you something, that when we talked to Kathy George, the head coach of the Grand Rapids Rise, she said, this is a brand new Columbus Fury team. The lineup is completely different. They have a new setter. They have to adjust and adapt to what they see that they just have to control the ball on their side of the net. Uh, they really don't know what the Fury's going to bring at them tonight with a new setter and a couple new players on the court. Fans rise to their feet for the opening set, which is Jones, but the opening point goes to the rise. Amelia Dibantrova, she is a force to be reckoned with on that right side, and you saw just what she brings to this rise team. A great offensive weapon with that lefty swing of hers, and she just nails that first ball down the line. What a presence she has on this team. 17-year pro, what a career for the Bulgarian. Here's Cooper, leads the team in points and kills, tries to fend off the net to keep it alive. Shashe, who's third in the league in kills per set. That goes into the net and the rise, the good start on the road. Well, you talk about the Columbus Rise and their blocking discipline. You're going to see it right here. Watch number 17, Jensen. She does not bite. She stays in position, low and ready, and then gets that right side help from Dimitrova, so a double block on that back row attack from the Fury. Alyssa Jensen, second year player out of Michigan State. O'Neill, her first action since February 26th. Maybe a little rust to work off along with Cooper on that side. It's three nothing rise. Well, that middle attack for the Columbus Fury was read perfectly. Again, Dimitrova stepping in, helping her middle block that middle attack. Cooper, there's the first Fury on the board. Well, this Columbus Rise, I'm sorry, this Grand Rapid Rise team is going to force the Fury to make some shots. And I'm telling you what, Reagan Cooper has learned how to hit that cross court. Take a look at that. Perfectly placed. Two weeks ago, the player of the week in the league, part of that four-game winning streak the Fury put together. They've dropped their last two. O'Neal. A part of the game plan for the Fury is to get some positive touches off the strong swing of Claire Chasse. They did it exactly the way they wanted it in that play. You saw a great defensive get there in the backcourt, and then that slide from Asia O'Neal for the winner. Bring up the assist to Stringer. Chasse, they call her Air Claire. Cooper, that's wide for two Grand Rapids. Asia O'Neill, she was so excited to get back to just playing. They were hoping she'd be cleared by the weekend, maybe a few days early, dealing with ankle injuries the last five. Cooper on an overpass, and it's punished. Well, Cooper's going to get a lot of action in serve receive. You know, this is her first season passing and playing back row. She's done a really good job, but nonetheless, when you look at the lineup for the Fury in terms of their serve receive, they've got a lot of really solid passers, so they're going to try and keep it away from Courtney Lush and Valeria Leone and pick on Cooper. Abbott did her best on the dig, but wasn't able to deny. Columbus responds to go side out and trail 5-3. It's Cooper. Reagan Cooper from the suburbs of Dallas. Three stops on her collegiate career. The last at Kansas drops in the ace. One of, one of the serving strategies is to serve the ball between players, force that communication, make them have to decide who's taking the ball. Great job on Cooper to put some pressure on that passing team. 14th pick in the collegiate draft. Try and run through the middle with Grote. On the last rise attack, she'll go again, and that is what they've been missing. Asia O'Neill steps up with the block. O'Neill has such a presence there with the block. She gets up and over, and then she's so quick at closing on the outside as well. That was all O'Neill for the Fury. 
5-5, Dimitrova snuck it in around the block of the former Texas Longhorn and national champion. I like seeing those tips from Dimitrova. She keeps the defense in question there. And again, she just powers it through. What a great play by Amelia Dimitrova. Here's the southpaw letting it rip. O'Neal says, I can match up. Six apiece. And let's talk about Valeria Leon, the libero for the Fury. She does such a good job. Great touch on that pass. And then the options open up. And I'm super impressed by Stringer and the rhythm that she's already feeling with her middles. That takes typically a lot of reps. She's showing uh, just her experience in being able to adjust to her new middles. Chasse will dispatch of that every single time. But they're going to say there was a net violation and a Fury point. Well, let's you know right now, Kathy George, the head coach, you see her questioning the call. Dimitrova, who is the captain for the rise, is also wanting some clarification from the referee. And Kathy George, 17 wonderful years on the banks of the Red Cedar, where she <laughs> led the Michigan State Spartans, won over 300 games. There will be a challenge here. Standing for the moment, 7-6 Columbus, back and forth. And at full strength to face Grand Rapids for the first time this season. Our referee, that's Bill Thornburg. Nathan Mayhaven on the floor. Bill Thornburg in charge of the last match against Vegas. And so we're waiting on that challenge. It comes out of Frisco, Texas, the suburbs of Dallas. It's a long time off, at least when you get into the crux of the schedule now, nine days to get back into a rhythm. But coaches have talked to us throughout the course of these last few weeks. It's hard to get practice time. So mm -hmm. focusing in, refining things, and then being ready to go. Now for a stretch where they play four matches in nine days, Columbus. A center line fault is what we're looking at. Yeah, and clearly you can't go past that line because of that right there. There's risk of injury. And the challenge successful. So in order for it to be a centerline fault, it's my understanding that your foot has to be completely past that line. Um, so it was not completely past the line. Kind of like basketball, the closeout foul. Yeah. Don't want to step on any ankles. Right. So well, Claire Chasse will serve it. It's now 7-6 Grand Rapids here in this first set. She's had 21 kills and 17 kills, the most recent time in the two meetings with Columbus this year. Cooper receives. Drexel. Well, welcome to have her back for Angel Perez. The rise finished the rally with the point. Claire Chasse attacking from the back court and intentionally tips the ball toward the right back area of the court. As you can see, the strongest defensive players for the Fury are on the left side. So smart play by Claire Chasse. He's got eight aces this year. That was hammered by Cooper. Abbott, good dig by Leon. Courtney Lush, Dimitrova kept it alive. Abbott couldn't save. Well, the point goes to the Columbus Fury, but boy, I'm impressed with the defense in the backcourt by the rise. Not only are they digging the ball, but they're digging it right to the setter. And so that allows you to get a solid transition attack. But it was Courtney Lush with a tip that scored. That'll miss. Serving strategy there by Stringer was to try to get Abbott pushed back. You can see how deep the serve was attempted, and Abbott would have had to have moved back, and as a front row player, it would have made it difficult for her to get the attack. Aaron Grote 
At the serve line for Grand Rapids, Dima Trova shoveled it over. Leone was there, softly falling from Courtney Lush. Chasse, Jones, and now Drexel does the job on a nice decoy. That's a great set, nice tempo set by Stringer, and Drexel typically the right side in that serve receive pattern stays left, and boy, she shows what kind of an arm she has. What a hammer. That's what they've missed, especially late on in matches too, when that arm can win you some points. Homer stand out at Washington and Maryland. Stringer sets her. That's an attack error on the Fury. I think on that one, Drexel just didn't get a solid hand-to-ball contact. It almost went off her wrist, and then you can see slicing it really far out of bounds. On their last match, it couldn't have gone any better to start for Grand Rapids. They won the first two sets, and then the reverse sweep. Chasse did her best, but it's hard to stop Cooper when she's feeding the back row like that. Well, if you are a Fury fan, you gotta love this Stringer-Cooper connection. Great tempo, and then look at Cooper hitting the back third of the court like a pro. Jones, that's long. Second serve error on the Fury, just out. That lost to Vegas the very first the first reverse sweep in PVF history. Chasse. Stringer fought it off. Cooper. Courtney Lush on the pass over. Drexel. Worked the block so well. Well, I love what Courtney Lush is doing, taking a free ball and actually passing it past the middle of the court. So it makes the middle blocker for the rise. She has to stay with where the pass is going and that extends the amount of space that she can set the ball into. No stopping that in the middle for the rise. Jensen meets the challenge. Now Jensen is so good. You get her one-on-one -on -one and she is going to slice it up. And what a great connection she has with the setter Ashley Evans for the rise. Two times second team All-American at MSU. But a serve error will send it back to the Fury. Nip and tuck in this first set. 12-11 Grand Rapids. And now Reagan Cooper. Second in the PVF in kills and points per set. Chasse right behind her, and she's too strong. Well, this is an interesting matchup. You got Claire Chasse for the rise, hitting over top of Stringer in this rotation, and you can see she's trying to go off the hands. We'll see if the next one, uh, Chasse, goes down the line over top of Stringer. Once upon a time, they were doing that on the same side at Louisville, yep. where they were <laughs> standouts, the former Cardinals. And a point for Grand Rapids to get back to the serve line. It's hard to stop Dimitrova. She is clearly one of the most talented right side players in the league. A true professional, such a high level of play. Played everywhere throughout Europe in her career. But a serve error. We'll tie this thing up at 13. Two serve errors apiece per team. Evans sets. Dimitrova met the block momentarily. Now Chasse is denied. Raynell Jones. Well, everybody has a talent, right? And Raynell Jones, her talent is reaching over the net at the point of contact, and there's just nowhere to go. That ball's slightly under set. Raynell Jones lines up perfectly, nicely set on the right pin by Tori Stringer. One of the great blockers in Big Ten history, Raynell Jones, first all time at the University of Maryland. With a third serve error here in the first set for Columbus, knots it back up at 14. Claire Chasse grew up in the shadows of the University of Wisconsin, but took the talent to Louisville. And Jones 
with a rise deflection, earns the point for Columbus. To 15, Columbus the first to get there, and Raynell Jones has the home team in front by one. A good first set here at Nationwide. We'll step out, you're watching the PVF on YouTube. I'm a big deal, I got it like that. I did it again, who told you that I was finished? Fresh off the plane with a new money buddy. My hair stay laid and you know I get paid. Hundred dollar bills, I got racks on the way. I'm making them big moves, I won't stay quiet. Five foot six, but I feel like a giant. I got the source, I am the supplier. I can make them boys sing like me in the choir. I'm on top and I'm taking it higher. It's a St. Patrick's Day edition. Yeah, we're celebrating St. Patrick's Day for tonight. It is volleyball night. Chasse gets a chance. And she oh, doesn't miss. Nana Dewar gets it. Oh, Morgan Hans, what a job she's done keeping the fourth. Ooh, what a big block. Oh, no. Point Atlanta. That block landed just out of bounds. Bell and the Vegas thrill come back to life. Back inside Nationwide Arena. 15-14 here in this first set. Columbus leads Grand Rapids. The rise swept the inaugural match between the two, and then it was four sets back on March 9th. Neil and Audrey with you, and right at the get-go, Tori Stringer comes in. We mentioned her at the beginning. Seven games with Atlanta, fourth in the league, assist per set. What have you made of her debut so far? Well, what's impressing me is that she's able to get the middles involved. That's such a bonus for any offense, and her comfort level to set while she's off the net has been very evident here in the first set. So I'm impressed by her ability. I knew she was a great setter, but the connectivity that she currently has with her hitters, it's looking really solid. You wouldn't know she just walked on the floor here with the Fury in the past week. Serving here, the point comes in the middle quickly from Evans. Fifteen all. Well, Tori Stringer, to your point, last night at practice looked like she had been with the team for about five months prior to just a week. Fitting in well. Groat. Now Abbott, Stringer sets Courtney Lush. Jones thought she had it down, Cooper gives it a go. Chasse, that was sweet. I love these extended rallies that we see in the Pro Volleyball Federation and what I am really impressed with, look at how quick that set was. It was low, Chasse's taking her first step at the point of contact. That's a very quick offense being run out of the backcourt. And an ace for Grand Rapids. Well, it is hard to break the serve-receive when Valeria Leon is in the serve-receive pattern. That time, that ball was between two players. Leon trying to go after it, just missing it. Last three points to the rise. Make it four. After that overpass, got out of the range of setting up the Fury attack. 18-15, timeout, Angel Perez. Columbus has fallen behind by three here in the first set just getting going and a good one columbus ncaa women's volleyball will never be the same students of the game will study this era for generations but we are only getting started sign up for pre-sale news and more at ncaa.com volleyball
Welcome back. Out of the timeout from an 18-15 Grand Rapids lead here on the first set. Groat serving. Stringer. Jones, it falls. Late reaction from Groat defensively. Yeah, when you can run a transition middle off a dig, that's pretty impressive. And that time, you're going to just see the talent of Stringer. She's able to connect with her middle when she's off the net. Uh, th that, that just shows the <laughs> connectivity we talked about already. It's really hard to develop. She seems to have fit in perfectly with this offense. Making it look easy. Abbott did so there, cross court into the corner. Yeah, one of the more difficult swings to score on, and that's that deep cross court shot. Take a look at how it goes past the two uh, defensive players right in the corner. It's a great shot by Simone Abbott. Another Big Ten standout, Abbott at Northwestern. Cooper, the All-American at Kansas, the dig from Evans. An outstanding setter in her own right. Stringer couldn't come up with it. It goes back to the rise. Ashley Evans, it's a return for her back to the Buckeye State. Gatorade Player of the Year in high school out of Lakota East, the Thunderhawk down in the Cincinnati area. And she's been an impressive setter for the rise. She's serving now. We are Drexel. Put it off Evans. And Drexel's big arm earns Columbus a singleton. Yeah, Drexel is doing a really good job on that right side. It was an issue that Angel Perez, the head coach for the Columbus Fury, he wanted to see a little bit more out of his right sides. He needs them to score. Drexel seems ready to do just that for her team. Late set action usually means Ivania Ortiz from the service line for Columbus to try and spark a run here, down three. Jose, ready on the receive. Dima Trova, no doubt, down the line. You know, it's hard to read her. She goes up strong, pulls that elbow back, and then at the last minute, just power tips it down the line. You know, if you are Ivania Ortiz, you gotta not only serve tough, but you gotta play tough defense. You gotta try and get that ball off the ground. So she was actually playing defense on that left back area of the court, has to make an attempt on that ball. Ortiz, one of three Puerto Ricans on the roster. That drops, kind of an excuse me, O'Neill's not there would be some resistance, but it goes. Yeah, she sees the hands in front of her. Look at how she sees exactly where the open area is. She knows Dimitrova is coming in to help block. That area of the court is susceptible to a tip. So it made her a first team All-American down in Austin. Evans, Dimitrova, there is no stopping that. Valeria Leone knew she was in a tough position. Yeah, well, you know what? How do you stop that? She has such a quick arm that the block has to be up and over a little earlier. See how she comes through? And there's just that area of the net that is open, that line shot. So you have to take one of her shots away. The only problem is, is if you take one away, she's gonna smack you down the other way. Camila Gomez, the Colombian, comes on to serve and then comes up with a big dig. Fejo O'Neal. Dimitrova with Drexel sacrificing. And now Cooper. It's Grote. Now Stringer going quickly. It got down. Fury hanging in there, down three. Late in this first set. Samantha Drexel with a key dig on that right back area of the court. And then you can see Asia O'Neill goes behind the setter. That opens up the net for Stringer to attack the ball. That was a beautiful play all around for the Columbus Fury. Now is Kathy George completely convinced that that hit the floor? Already one successful challenge. Fourth home match for Columbus. Very boisterous atmosphere. They had the 9,000 plus for their inaugural home game. Part of that four game win streak. And they will play here three times in the next nine days. They've got a home and home with Atlanta. And then Orlando comes to town a week from Friday. It's gonna stand on Columbus Point, Reagan Cooper. 
But the Fury down three and now four after the serve error. Well, even though that wasn't a timeout, just that delay kind of gets the set, uh, the server out of rhythm. So uh, when you're back at the line, you got to readjust, get your head right, pop the ball in, especially in the latter part of sets. Amelia Dimitrova, Courtney Lush, big point. She had one of her finest games of the season. Last time out against the rise in Grand Rapids, 13 kills, 13 digs. Yeah, Courtney Lush, what she does exceptionally well is take this ball going high. She sees forearms, not hands. You go after those forearms. And these athletes have great vision. It's, it's uh, remarkable that at the point of contact, they do see either hands in front of them or forearms. It's not how high you get is how high over or how far over you get on your block. If you're going straight up, you're going to get used. O'Neal, Chasse says we're going to be serving for set one. Back in comes Stringer. She was out and you saw Ashley Wentz, the right side blocker, number 13 for the Fury. Her job is to try to slow down the offense of Chasse was not able to do that on that last play. Dimitrova seven kills, Chasse with four to lead the rise. Trying to close out set one. Courtney Lush, Dimitrova into the net. Dug by Cooper. Former Penn State sand out with Dimitrova saying we're taking this first set. The rise do. And Grand Rapids which has had Columbus's number so far in this inaugural year of the PVF. Wants to keep that going. They lead after set one, taking the opener. 25-21. We'll step out. It's the PVF on YouTube. path or future generations. It's thrill because one of their best players is also one of the best players in the world. We get a chance to see Alicia Glass Childress laser that goes over. Alicia Glass Childress helps get that nice Vegas looking for their first set of the day. They've got it for Grand Rapids. Glass Childress with a sneak attack. Sour Glass Childress Bell. And the Vegas Thrill come back to life, winning each of the last three sets.
back in the Arena District in Columbus. 25-20, Grand Rapids taking the opening set. Neil Sika, the Ohio State Hall of Famer. Audrey Flaw with you for Fury Volleyball. And Columbus starts set two the way they want to with O'Neill. Great in pass here. You can see Stringers right in the setter's pocket right there. And then O'Neill just ripping that ball down the line. Sponsel did her best. Grand Rapids, they've taken seven of the eight sets so far against Columbus this year. Jensen, the big middle, delivers. How good is Ashley Evans, the setter for Grand Rapids? Great hands, and what I really like is that she is in a very neutral position at the point of contact. You can't really guess where she's gonna set that ball. Stringer, great work defensively. Leon over, Chasse. Now Stringer for Jones. Evans on the other side. Dima Trova, who had eight kills in that first set for Grand Rapids. And now a big block along with Jensen. You talk about Dima Trova's eight kills in that first set. She was clearly the best player on the floor in that first set. She had power tips. Hard cross court, hard line. That time you saw a great block. Grew up an hour outside of the Black Sea in Bulgaria. Played in six different countries over in Europe. Long time Bulgarian international. Stringer over, Sponsel, veteran of the beach game before coming back here to the PVF. Drexel digs. It's Courtney Lush. That goes 2-2. Two -two. Well, Samantha Drexel's known for her really heavy arm, but my goodness, her defense in that right back area, she's holding down the fort. And then there you see Courtney Lush again going high off the blocker's hands. She'll keep doing that as best she can. If that ball is set in a good tempo location for her, she can slice it and then she can just wipe off and find her points by going high off the blocker's hands. I already referenced the former Louisville teammates facing off against each other tonight. Stringer and Chasse, but you've got a pair of former Washington Huskies doing battle in Grote and Drexel who were there at the same time. Well, here is Stringer, the maiden name Dilfer. She got married in May. And the 14-year NFL veteran quarterback and Super Bowl winner with the Ravens back in 2000. Dima Trova. Yeah, if you're playing defense against Dimitrova, Dimitrova, you've got to stay home. So here you're going to see how Stringer starts creeping up a little bit and she hits that backcourt corner. But I think Stringer is such a smart player. She's going to put that in her memory bank and she's going to know, i got to stay deep on that cross-court shot. Play defense first, then set. Serve error from Jensen. We're all even at three early in this second set. Dimitrova came in hitting 328 on the year. Fourth in the league in kills and points per set. Groats. That's down on the donut hole. Rise. Recapture the lead. Evans doing a good job of moving her middles around. You're going to see a nice quick back set. And again, that's just a different look deep or offensively. And so for your defense, the Fury has to remember, hey, that girl goes behind and then Ashley Evans will pump it to the left pin and that'll cause that little gap between the blocks. So Ashley Evans does a good job of not only setting what she wants in one play, but setting up the offense to score in future plays. Ashley Evans was an outside hitter her first year at Purdue. She had over 4,000 kills in college. Dimitrova serves, now defends after the Drexel swing. Chasse, late reaction from Stringer. 5-3 Grand Rapids. One of the things we haven't mentioned about Chasse is that she's passing a lot of balls, so she is very active in the backcourt and then passing, getting to the outside, getting a nice strong approach as you saw there in that last kill. Drexel, Dimitrova's there, Evans 
With that quick turn of attack, turns it into a point. You can only do that if you got a great dig, and that's what makes this team really tough to defend. The Grand Rapid Rise don't only dig a ball, but they dig it in a place where Ashley Evans can attack when she's in the front court. Amelia Dimitrova wide on that serve, an error. We'll send it back to Fury's way. Raynell Jones to the line. This young crop of talent now. And it may take some time. It's been a while since all these pieces have been able to play together for Columbus, so it's not the easiest team to face when you're trying to put that into practice. Chasse scores. She's so good. I mean, she saw what her options were. She was going to rip it, and then at the very last minute, you're going to see how she just drops that elbow, moves that ball over top of the block. Real tough to defend. She had a season high 24 kills in the loss to Vegas. Eight double doubles this year. Abbott can't come up with that ball after Cooper puts it down. Rise trying to serve a short ball to Asia O'Neill. They do. Asia plays it perfectly. And then you see that B and a go. Two quick offensive options going right over top. Ultimately going to the left pin. O'Neill, Cooper, Courtney Lush. Lead Columbus with four kills. Still early on in this second set. And Cooper with an attack error. Not going to get that down the line like she wanted. Yeah, Cooper typically is really good at hitting the line and then mixing it up and hitting cross court. She's attempted the line shot a couple times, missed on the two that I remember her going for. 8-5, Grote. From outside of L.A., grew up in Burbank. Chasse. Nice dig, but into the net went Grand Rapids. One of the subtle things I saw from Reagan Cooper that I'm super impressed with, when she passed that ball and it went off, the net she took a look at the blockers and she was looking to see where the blockers were lining up so she took her eyes off the ball looked at the defense then tracked the ball on that set really impressive earned the point now goes back to the serve line abbott made no mistake on that cross court smash <laughs> abbott my goodness what a dynamic athlete she is take a look at that thumb down on the ball wow Kathy George loves her. She would talk for an hour just about how can she improve her game each and every week. Really a sponge for knowledge. Courtney Lush meets the block of Dimitrova and Jensen. And that was a big piece of why Grand Rapids was so successful the last time out against Columbus. Yep, yeah, let's look at the serving strategy here. They're serving short to Asia O'Neill. Get her out of the offense, and then there's only one attacker on that left side. Cooper had to be big on that first receive. Now Dimitrova dispatching of it, but a little too much. Dimitrova going for that sharp cross court shot. She's been perfect all night. And that was one error that we saw here in the second set. You can see how she was definitely going after that right side area of the court for the Fury. A nine perfect off the first 14 attacks. Aren't you mentioning the first error? Cooper, Spotzel, with help from Chasse. Abbott sends it over. Stringer for Courtney Lush. Oh, Evans got down on the dig. And now Abbott. Cooper from that back row. It's Drexel. The big swing finds the crevice. Oh, Stringer doing an exceptional job of moving the ball around. You really don't know where she's going to go. She's got a lot of firepower in the front row and in the back row. That time it was Drexel with the kill. Half a game separates these teams in the standings. The Fury have played one fewer. It's their ninth match ever. Ten for the rise. Dimitrova now has ten kills. Boy, you have got to be up and over when that arm of Dimitrova comes through on her attack. You've got to be able to anticipate that the ball's going to be wiped off the block. If you can get a touch on it, you've got to run those balls down. Double-figure kills 
in every match. Already at that mark and continues. I really love Ashley Evans and what she's able to do. She's setting the long ball to Dimitrova. She's practically in the left front area of the court, and she puts that ball not only to Dimitrova, but in the perfect spot. Great tempo, great location. Evans is showing why she's one of the top setters in this league. Four-point rise lead. Won the first set by five. And here is Evans setting Chasse. Boy, it's take your pick when you've yeah. got Dimitrova and her opposite each other. Yeah, and, and like you said, they're so far apart that as a middle blocker, you really can't anticipate one way or the other because Ashley Evans has this sixth sense where she can tell where the middle blocker is leaning and then go the other way. Really good, talented seller, setter there. Ashley Evans from Purdue. Rise having it rolling here in central Ohio. They're up 13-8. We'll step out. The PVF on YouTube. the path for future generations. The Fury fans looking to get fired up, but Grand Rapids has kept things in control. The rise took set 125-20, now lead 13-8. Out of an Angel Perez timeout here in set two. Glad you're with us. Lone game of the night in the league. Here in its debut season, Courtney Lush. Much needed out of that timeout for Columbus. And we call that bettering the ball. Not a great pass. Stringer does a great job of getting to the ball. And then ultimately, it is Courtney Lush with that cross-court thumb down shot for the winner. Courtney Lush, you were referencing earlier just the hitting position, the setting position. She's playing herself into shape. She hadn't played in nearly two years. Had a baby. Helps on the block with Raynell Jones. Two straight for Columbus. Yeah, that's a big block when you can shut down Dimitrova. Let's take a look at this. Again, that shuffle step to get right in front of Dimitrova. Dimitrova, there's the look of someone on a mission. She's handled her chores rather lightly against Columbus when you consider the 20 kill game she's had. That's Jensen, just pummeled. <laughs> well, what makes her so good? First of all, she doesn't get a ton of sets, but she's always up and ready. She's got her arm pulled back. She's in perfect position away from the net. And when she gets the set, she has great hand-to-ball contact, and she just hammers it. Took her a while to get going. She was injured the first four matches of the season. That will miss the mark from Drexel on the attack error from Columbus. 15-10 rise. They have four victories this year, two against Atlanta, the league leaders, and two against Columbus. Drop four of five overall, Jones. ND, no doubter. <laughs> Uh, she is the energizer bunny for this team, and she gets up, and she, again, doesn't get a ton of sets, but when she does and she gets good hand-to-ball contact, it's going to be a winner. That's Raynell Jones, number one for the Fury. Played in Italy last year, coming in, hitting 319 out of the middle. Chasse. Dug by Courtney Lush. Reagan Cooper, a flamethrower. Well, Courtney Lush just was in the best position to dig the ball in middle back and then Stringer chasing that ball down. And then ultimately, it's Coop, as they like to call her here in Nationwide Arena, delivering 
a big swing for the Fury. Sponsel fourth in the league in digs per set, but had no chance on that one. Chasse, Courtney Lush, oh, Jones for the former Jayhawk. Evans to Dimitrova. And just the power from the southpaw. Stringer did her best, but the ricochet was so heavy. Yeah, I think what, what is so difficult is when she makes her contact with the ball, you really don't know where it's going. She's got, again, we talk about how important the hand -to ball contact is because at the point of contact, she goes thumb down, she tips, and she doesn't give it away prior to the swing. 16-12, still in striking range for Columbus here in the second set. They'll have it there from Drexel. Well, Drexel's having quite the night. Not only is she swinging big, we talk about her defense. Take a look at this great swing from her. You see Claire Chasse shuffling to get to her. Drexel taking advantage of her not being completely set up when she swings through that ball. First action for her since March 3rd. Missed the last three with a concussion. Four kills so far. Ivana Ortiz trying to rally the group from the service line. Failed to do so, it was long. So she'll come off and Valeria Leon will step in. 17-13 Grand Rapids, they've led throughout this second set. Chasse, the eight of the net. O'Neal, Evans and Dimitrova fended off and then Abbott off a of fingertip. Well, we talk about how good Grand Rapid Rise is looking here in the first two sets. And when you have firepower like the Rise has and you have an offense being run as well as Ashley Evans is running it, you're going you're gonna to win a lot of matches. Right now, they're controlling the pace of the offense. Lots of weapons, like I said, to go to. And it's really difficult for the Fury to kind of guess where the ball is going. That swat by Evans doing a little bit of it all for Grand Rapids. Largest lead for them here in set two. 19-13. O'Neal meets the block of Grote. It's all going the Rise's way right now. Well, when you see a quick attacker coming in, as Grote does, she has to take one shot away. You just see her just kind of diving to the right. That was the shot that Asia O'Neal hit the last time, so she remembers that, does a good job of taking that shot away. Drexel. Sponsel, just shoveling it over, Dimitrova, Stringer. And there's a violation from Columbus. And the run for the rise continues. They've ballooned it to an eight-point advantage, and it's getting late in set two for the Fury. 21-13, GR will come back. It's the PBF on YouTube. Inside Nationwide Arena. The Fury Faithful still having a good time despite a 5 0 rise run to take control here in set two, 21 13. Claire Chasse serves. For the visitors, we're about six hours away by bus. Evans, broke, just terminated into the mix. Yeah, it's a real difficult ball to dig, and really, it's up to the front court, Fury's right side blocker, to come in. You've got to be able to 
get your hands on that middle attack and then shovel to the outside. Real difficult job, but you got to get your hands on that quick attack in the middle. That's a 6 0 run for the rise on that chasse serve error. Grand Rapids coming in one and three on the road. And this is the first of three straights away from Van Andel Arena. We'll head to Vegas on the weekend or next week and then to Omaha. That's long from Drexel and no momentum can be sustained. Bad time for a serve error. Great communication on Grand Rapids side of the net. That ball was close. Lots of communication there to call the ball out. 23-14. Stringer. O'Neal. That's more like it for Columbus. O'Neal, oh my, that was <laughs> so good. Real fast. Get it. Real dependent on that pass. You can see how she was just accelerating to the ball, making a high point of contact. Again, hitting that ball in the back third of the court. Really tough. An amazing talent, first overall in the draft. Janasia Moore, a former Buckeye, and finished off her career at Tennessee, comes on to serve here late in the second set. Jensen got denied by the twine. Ashley Evans doing a little trickery there, kind of pretending she was going to swing at the ball, and then at the last minute sets it to her middle, but that ball never crossed the plane of the net. But that's where you kind of get to see Ashley Evans and her creativity and her athleticism as a setter. Played the Pan Am Cup for the United States back in 2022. Chasse didn't receive that well. She knew it. Sponsor will just send it over. O'Neal. Chasse defends. Dimitrova with some finesse. Same for Courtney Lush. Now Evans set that so well for Abbott. And she'll dispatch of it. And the rise have set point coming. That's a key swing there by Simone Abbott for the rise. Just taking that ball deep tip. Lots of velocity behind the tip, right in the sweet spot of the defense. Evans, Valeria Leone, standing libero. Doing well, and that allowed that attack and transition for Courtney Lush. Gotta love the competitive spirit that you see with Courtney Lush here. She is just going after it. Has nothing to lose, just going strong. Wants to extend this set as best she can. You can play free now, down seven. Asia O'Neal. Okay. Special talent out of Texas, of course. And through so much in her young life, the medical hardships, the two open heart surgeries. Thankful for every day. Drops in the ace. 24-18, couple in a row for Columbus. Well placed serve there by Asia O'Neill again. In between the two passers for the rise, they need to communicate that time. Claire Chasse missing that pass as it was going to her left, close to Simone Abbott. O'Neill, the serve error ends set two. The rise, like they did on Sunday, start with the first couple and hoping to close it out with different fortune here on the road. We're going to hit intermission at Nationwide Arena. Grand Rapids taking set two, 25-18. They're up two here in the third meeting between the teams. More coming up. Intermission at Nationwide Arena. It's the PVF on YouTube. Baby, I'm a big deal. I got it like that. I did it again. Who told you that I was finished? Fresh off the plane with a new Manny Petty. My hair stay late.
gear up with the official Pro Collection apparel today. Available exclusively at renathletics.com and provolleyballshop.com. the path of future generations. It's thrill because one of their best players is also one of the best players in the world. We get a chance to see Alicia Glass Childress laser that goes over. Alicia Glass Childress helps get that nice Vegas looking for their first set of the day. They've got it for Grand Rapids. Glass Childress with a sneak attack. Sour Glass Childress Bell. And the Vegas Thrill come back to life, winning each of the last three sets. Volleyball Federation, where every action carries the weight of passion and pride. There's a select group that rises above the rest. 
23 athletes of the Pro Volleyball Federation are past or current members of the USA Women's National Volleyball Team. Each a testament to dedication, skill, and relentless pursuit of excellence. Pro Volleyball Federation, building champions and making dreams a reality. Gear up with the official Pro Collection apparel today. Available exclusively at renathletics.com and provolleyballshop.com. The wait is finally over. A concept years in the making becomes a reality tonight. We have stars that are sure to make a splash in terms of heads. There are stars everywhere you look. No secret that tonight is going to be out there. Prepare to make history. And we are underway. And what a start. And a serve for Wiley. Picks out Nana Miller. Just so NCAA women's volleyball will never be the same. Students of the game will study this era for generations. But we are only getting started. Sign up for pre-sale news and more at NCAA.com slash volleyball. Half for future generations. Back in Columbus Nationwide Arena, Columbus Fury of the Grand Rapids Rise. Neil Sika, Audrey Flaw having some fun. The fans doing their best to oblige in that tone, but the Fury are in a two-set hole here, Audrey, and there's an element, of course, to stopping Chasse and Dima yeah. Tropa, but where do they even begin to get back and get this set, which they desperately need? Yeah, Neil, you know, it's going to take tremendous effort from the Fury um, to get Grand Rapids out of system because, in my opinion, Evans is such a talented setter. She has been phenomenal delivering sets to her hitters no matter where the first contact gets her on the court. So she's exceptional. And she's been getting a lot of productivity from Dimitrova on the right side. She's got two very talented outsides. And then Grote and Jensen in the middle are getting just enough swings to keep the middles for the Fury honest and sticking with them. So this is a team that is showing absolutely no signs of breaking. But we have seen so many reverse sweeps. If anybody has watched volleyball, we know it's possible. But it is going to take a tremendous effort from the Fury. They're going to have to really elevate their game. They're going to have to look for Q Cooper and Drexel to really start delivering some key swings at key moments. 
You just said reverse sweep. We just saw the first one in PVF yep. history on St. Patrick's Day, yep. and Grand Rapids would like to work some recent revisionist history from that because they were up two sets on Vegas and now up two sets on the road. Raynell Jones starts off in set three out of the intermission. Dima Trova with a net infraction by Columbus. And well, the rise start well. Ashley Evans does a great job. That pass was getting her tight to the net and she just maneuvers her body, delivers the set, rotates in toward the net and is able to avoid the net and set a perfect ball to her go-to. Abbott, serve error. The tradition becomes everyone stands for the first point. Samantha Drexel, played in France last season before joining the Fury, Saucé, Mr. Mark. One of the keys to being a good right side defender is getting your right foot on the line. Drexel does that and knows any ball that is hit to her right is out of bounds. If you've got your right foot on the line, it's easy to read whether it's in or out. Drexel, who's had nine kills in three of her last four, but just great to see her back out on the floor. Now she delivers that into the block of Jensen. Megan Courtney Lush adjusting her defensive position to play right back. I hope we get to see it here. Uh, we missed it, but she actually changes her position defensively in order to stop Dimitrova's kill. Columbus, an early two-point lead here in the third set. And Jensen, kind of a knuckleball yeah. that got out of play. Yeah, if the ball is set too low and you're gonna get it on your way down, you don't get that good contact. You can see it was kind of set more toward her ear, not high enough. She couldn't extend her hand and swing through the ball. Shallow from Drexel, native of the Seattle suburbs. 4-2 Columbus and a side out to the rise. Their only sweep of the year was in the inaugural match at home against this Fury team. Alyssa Jensen from Holland, Michigan. Small margin for error there. It goes the Rise's way. Rise taking that ball that is just right at the top of the net and able to control it with their block. So another easy point here for the GR Rise. It's long on the serve. 5-3 Columbus. It's the sixth serve error on Grand Rapids. Reagan Cooper on the other side. Dima Trova. What a play by Leon to keep it alive. Sponsel, Evans. Courtney Lush defends Grote, and now killed it. Valeria Leone fires up the crowd and her defensive work <laughs> allowed him to have that point. Well, we're seeing the finishing swing here to score for the point, but it was Valeria Leone that laid out, and then did you see her just kind of get the crowd pumped up? Man, she is ready to play here in this set. Best libero in the Puerto Rican League last season. Courtney Lush, Sponsel, sends it over. Stringer, O'Neal. The thunderstruck ball that Courtney Lush now goes for finesse. Good rally going. Leon, Courtney Lush and the block of Dimitrova does damage. Well, that was a great rally. Whether you're a Rise fan or a Fury fan, you saw great defensive gets on both sides of the net, but it was that ball that slightly underset that Megan Courtney Lush really had no room to maneuver and no room to try the line or go deep corner. You want that high ball right at the point of contact on that left pin. Match high 12 kills for Dimitrova, who's serving here. Courtney Lush 
just loads up and lets it rip. Well, that's the ball that she needs. A nice high set, give her time to elevate, give her time to swing through. And boy, Sponsel got it right in the chest on that one, taken like a pro libero there. She doesn't show that that affected her whatsoever. Courtney Lush, a back-to-back -back champ at Penn State. During that embarrassment of riches they had in the title run. That's long from Drexel. It's a good set by Stringer. It is the right set. You have to be able to deliver the kill. If Stringer just sets one ball to the outside, this Grand Rapids Rise team is gonna be able to set their defense up. So she's smart to move the ball around. Hitters have got to execute their swings. Cooper, Grote in the middle. And Courtney Lush, Sponsel. Evans on cue, and that was neatly done for Grote. Yeah, this offense right now for the Rise is, is just kind of clicking along. Everybody is contributing. Some people are getting more sets, but everybody is involved in the offense, and that's what making Grand Rapids look really, really good tonight. Crafty from Stringer in her Fury debut. Stringer so smart, knowing exactly where the defense is. She knows that the libero is in, and so she pushes it to the line on that left side. So Stringer showing a veteran attack there. Played in Italy before she had great honors in Puerto Rico last season. Leona teammate, Courtney Lush, clips it on that line shot, which she's mastered through the years. Yeah, you're seeing the competitive spirit here by Courtney Lush. She is almost taking this team, putting it on her back. Stringer delivering a beautiful set. Fears not the block, goes after it. Courtney Lush here to play in the third. You now the setter room for these teams, some of the best in the league. That was long from Stringer. Bryce Santos has a lower leg injury that's kept her out. It happened almost simultaneously when the trade occurred. We've got the former Ohio State great Mac Pedraza in that mix with Ashley Evans. Courtney Lush on a mission here in set three. Yeah, Lush is just doing it all. Here you see a great set again on that right pin. Lush taking advantage of a little bit of line going high over top of the block. You know, you talk about Mac Pedraza for the Grand Rapid Rise. Another great setter has been able to play a little bit for the Rise, but tonight there's no need for Ashley Evans to take a break. She has been phenomenal. And, you know, you always want your offense running smoothly. You can't deny that Ashley Evans is doing an exceptional job tonight. Columbus wants a break from having to defend Dimitrova. Another kill for her. 10-8 Columbus here in the third. Here is Dimitrova. Oh, they kept it alive. There's gonna be a challenge. In the midst of that, you heard the horn go off. Dimitrova and Evans got down. When you hear the horn go off in the middle of the rally, a coach is challenging the play. This time it was Angel Perez for the Columbus Fury. As you mentioned, Neil, he thinks that that ball hit the, hit the court. Uh, so the play is dead. If the Fury wins the challenge, they will, they will be able to get the point. And if not, the point automatically goes to the rise, even though the rally did not officially end. So you are able to interrupt the play, as on Hell Perez did, calling for the challenge, and you hear the horn go off. Yeah, in this situation, you push all your chips into the middle of the table. On Hell yep. Perez saying it was a floor touch. That's pretty clear and obvious. Typically, if a coach is going to call in the middle of the rally, they clearly see that it is going to go in their favor because they wouldn't risk it otherwise. So that's a good call by Angel Perez. Columbus, a three-point cushion in set three, one they have to have. Rise 25-20 in set one, and then 25-18 in the second. Chasse coming from the back row, got denied. Block picking up for the Fury. Evans, that was a tough set. Really just a catalyst though from the Columbus block in the middle. 
Well, I'll tell you what, something happened in the locker room because this Columbus Fury team has come out hot and they are on fire and they're ready to win this third set. They're playing so well defensively. That was one of the sticking points to start the block D, but Ima Trova was having her way. But they're answering the call now, Drexel this time. Asia O'Neill going pin to pin, really forcing that ball to go in her hands, reaching over the net. And prior to getting that stuff block, she was blocking on the opposite pin. So great lateral speed by Asia O'Neill, never giving up on the ball. Mac Pedraza, a homecoming for the Big Walnut High School grad up in Sunbury. Delaware, Ohio, north of Columbus. Steps on the floor for the first time. Sets Dima Trova. Fury up five, largest lead of the night at any set. But the block from Jensen says we can play some D2. Well, I'm glad to see Mac Pedraza out on the floor for selfish reasons. One of my former uh, players at Minton Net Volleyball Club, three-time All-American, as you mentioned, the 2022 Big Ten Setter of the Year. Uh, hometown favorite here. Lots of people here uh, in Nationwide coming out to watch her play. Drexel. Abbott fends it off. Chasse. That's long. 14-9 Fury. Well, Mac Pedraza, an embarrassment of riches that Ohio State had in 2022. And they couldn't all take their extra year because of the incoming freshman in scholarship, so she wrapped it up at Penn State. And now she sets Chasse. And that's an assist for the former Buckeye and Chasse. Back to what she was doing in the first and second sets. Yeah, these setters do a great job when balls are tight to go with their back to the net, almost at a side set, and that time Mac Pedraza not only saves the ball, but delivers a beautiful set to the left pin. One that Jensen wants back that floated on her. And the Fury hit 15 first in this third set. Inspired D, especially on the block, to lead the rise by five in set three. They have to have it. Grand Rapids taking the first two sets. You're watching the PBF on YouTube. generation. Back inside Nationwide Arena, Neil Sika and the Ohio State Hall of Famer. Audrey Flaw having some fun. 15-10 Fury after falling in the first two sets. Audrey, intensity, urgency, that's been evident, but strategically what have they been able to do to find their way into some success here so far in set three yeah i feel like the fury has a couple players that have elevated their level of play courtney lush in particular is at another level adjusting in backcourt to challenge dima trova's cross court shot lush is really good at reading the play and making adjustments then being stopped at the point of contact and going hard after the balls defensively and asia o'neill just showing her skills blocking wise again she is tremendous and she's got her hands on quite a few balls here in the third set. Chasse with her third attack error of the game. O'Neill responds with a fury attack error, but might be a challenge here on El Perez. Says, what the heck? Try and keep momentum. 16-10 Columbus. Maybe thinking that it dropped in on the line. get two challenges per set. If you win, you keep it. 
wet spot on the floor that they're addressing. It was a runaway second set back on March 9th in Grand Rapids. The one of the most conviction for Columbus, Angel Perez. 17-year pro and masterful job coaching in his native Puerto Rico. They're actually going for a block touch. There's not, and it's a rise point. Life in the replay world of volleyball <laughs> will never be the same, and I can, cannot tell you how happy I am. These replays are so clear, so obvious. They get the call right. That is huge at this level. Uh, hope to see it in the collegiate level as well. At the block six technology on the floor, too. Let that momentum short lived for the rise. A serve error. 17 11 Columbus. Dima Trova, after missing that serve, she gets mad at herself. She, she just uh, really shows her emotion. I kind of like that in a player. O'Neill. Abbott receives. Off two feet. Chasse. Drexel. <laughs> Told that block not by the pin so well. Fury taking command here in set three, 18-11. Yeah, Drexel has got to be able to deliver swings like that. That ball was a little bit low, just clipped the tape, but manages to touch the block as it sails out of bounds. Mac Pedraza exits. O'Neill serves, and an error. Evans back on the floor for the rise. 18-12. You can see Evans there is in the front court and she loves to attack the ball. She hasn't done it in a while. I anticipate if the ball gets to her either off the serve receiver defensively, watch for Evans to take that second ball on her own. That's two serve errors in a row from the rise. The last time they've, last two times they've side out. So now it's Tori Stringer. Sponsor Evans for Dimitrova, who's back in the kill column. Well, Evans makes it look so easy, and it's so difficult. She's moving forward to get the pass, and yet she's able to deliver the ball in the perfect spot, leading the hitter so that Dimitrova takes off behind the 10-foot line and sails and lands in front of that 10-foot line. Grote. Now Drexel. Oh, that big, heavy arm that they've been missing. And now later in the sets, especially now when they have to have it, it's coming alive. Yeah, I'm not sure Drexel knows any other finesse shot. I think she just hammers it. And I love it. She's so strong, and she just muscles it through. Chasse tracked it down. Jones, a sponsor ready. Abbott. Passing that over, Evans. What effort by Courtney Lush and then Cooper. They say it's wide. It yeah. is. Yeah, but great defensive effort by Courtney Lush. I was sensing Ashley Evans was due for an attack on her own and she put it right in the corner. I think Megan Courtney Lush thought the same thing. She was taken off at that point of contact. 2014 Columbus, Drexel meets the block. There's Jensen, she's popped up in big spots tonight for the rise. Now that's a great block, great read. You're gonna see how the speed of the middle blocker there, number 17, Jensen for the rise. She's got great lateral speed and great reach over the net. She's got three tonight. But the serve game becoming a problem late for Grand Rapids. Well, this is a must win for the Fury. Down two sets. Let's see if they can close this one out. They have a nice lead here in the third. Raynell Jones. Evans for Abbott. Off that block. Drexel and O'Neill got over there, but the fall didn't go their way. Courageous swing there, just going hard after that ball. 
Again, it often comes down to a pin hitter, right side hitter, and you just got to go after it, have that competitive composure, try to get a point, forget about the score, swing away. That's what Cooper's doing. Shannon Scully's come in. Works well defensively, and now Dimitrova on the razor's edge. Well, you're seeing Dimitrova up against Reagan Cooper. Dimitrova getting her hands on Reagan Cooper's swing to slow it down. Dimitrova swings on that transition swing, and Cooper not able to slow it down from her block. So right now, this battle between Dimitrova and Cooper is, is quite interesting to me. Sponsor had no chance. Drexel again. 22-17, Columbus. They've led throughout this third set. And Drexel can't pick out the corner. 22-18, Sponsel coming off. Camelia Gomez on. Scully, Evans, Chausse. Grote and Dimitrova for Grand Rapids. The Colombian serves. Cooper defends. O'Neill. And Gomez in a real bind there. Chasse. Courtney Lush with her defense from the back row. Now trying to win the point. Dimitrova off the block of O'Neill. What a battle right there yeah. at the net front. Yeah, it's, it's so fun to watch Dimitrova going against Cooper. You can see Dimitrova just elevates great high point of contact, and she is showing why she is a true professional. 17 years experience as a pro. She is a stud right now for the rise. Mini spurt for the rise. They've got within three late in this third set. Back to Nationwide after this, the PBF on YouTube. Real Pro Volleyball, have you seen the product? Defending the Grand Rapids serve. Hard to crack, Megan Courtney Lush on serve receive. She handles a tough serve, puts it right in Stringer's hands. And then the difference maker in the play is the execution of Asia O'Neill on the slide. She has been unstoppable tonight. It's her first kill of the third set. Drexel, Courtney, Lush have led the way for Columbus here in set three. Two points away from closing it out. Ivano Ortiz comes in, the serve specialist. Chasse gets it back from Evans. Ortiz with a good dig. Courtney Lush with her fifth kill of the set has set point for the Fury. Ivanya Ortiz, what a great serve and then a defensive get. That's what you want when you insert your DS and your serving specialist. Ortiz doing her job. Let's see if she can do it again for set point. Fans rise to their feet here at Nationwide. And Ortiz off the net. Funky roll for Chasse. Has Columbus on the board. Set three to the Fury. 
2-1 Grand Rapids. But the home club took initiative out of the intermission. And they've made it interesting. We head to a fourth set. Grand Rapids up 2-1 here in Columbus. It's the Pro Volleyball Federation on YouTube. Path or future generations. It's thrilled because one of their best players is also one of the best players in the world. We get a chance to see Alicia Glass Childress laser that goes over. Alicia Glass Childress helps get that nice Vegas looking for their first set of the day. They've got it for Grand Rapids. Glass Childress with a sneak attack. Sour Glass Childress Bell. And the Vegas Thrill come back to life, winning each of the last three sets. Neil and Audrey back with you, Nationwide Arena here in Columbus. Fury Volleyball, the PVF on YouTube. Only game of the night, it's a good one. And the Fury back within one after dropping the opening two sets. But using Courtney Lush and the arm of Samantha Drexel to take set three. Yeah, and I think some key blocks by Asia O'Neill really frustrating the hitters for Grand Rapids. First of the night for Caitlin Hoard, who comes on to start this fourth set, and they hit pay dirt through the middle. All right, why do you put Caitlin Hoard in there? She's an exceptional blocker. She's really good offensively, and you can see she's going over top of the block, gets herself in great position in front of the setter. 25-19, Columbus took the third set. Start the fourth brightly. Cooper. Spun that off the hands of Dima Trovo, who comes right back. Dig from Stringer. Cooper 
It's the second time she's tried to execute that and just been off. And why is she trying that cross-court shot? She's got huge Amelia Dimitrova, 6-1, that jumps so well in front of her, taking the line shot away. So Dimitrova, even though she's not getting that touch on the block, she is forcing Cooper, trying to frustrate Cooper, make a shot you're not as comfortable with. So uh, Dimitrova right now really getting in Reagan Cooper's head a little bit, making her hit shots that she's not completely comfortable with. Make yourself big, or in Dimitrova's case, bigger. That long wingspan, that serve goes long. There's one thing I know about Reagan Cooper, though. She is a phenomenal competitor. She's going to fight her way back in this. I'm really excited to see what she's going to do here in the fourth set. You brought up how opposing teams will target her in the receive game, which has improved since the start of the season. We've had back-to-back -back servers. Two apiece. Going on to Stringer. Heck of an effort by Jensen and Abbott to keep it alive. But the intuition of the new setter pays dividends. Yeah, here you go. You're moving back. You're off the net. The most unexpected move, and that's what makes Stringer so good. She makes the tricky play look very easy. Dima Trova that went off toward the Olin Tangi. <laughs> 4-2 Columbus. You know, Audrey, though, Grand Rapids has to be thinking, we need the urgency to pick up here in the fourth set. Mm -hmm. They don't want to have Sunday creep into their minds after the reverse sweep against Vegas at home. But Columbus is just fine with that because they have taken it up a notch beginning in set three. Toshe goes again. Despite the best efforts of Stringer out on the block, it falls Grand Rapids way. Yeah, Chasse taking multiple swings, just showing composure. Gets blocked the first time, second time, swings hard, aggressively gets the point. Well, on cue they were targeting Cooper and it goes for an ace. Four all here in set four. Dimitrova entered tonight with six aces. And they go at Cooper again. O'Neal. It's like her dad used to do, just dunk it <laughs> down in the middle. She remained the longtime pro, the six-time All-Star. And look at that, finding just the right spot, catching everybody on their heels, nobody making an effort on the rise side to play that ball. Here's the 24-year-old, the first pick in the first ever collegiate draft of the PVF. What a block, a finer dig by Abbott. Keeps the rally alive. Courtney Lush. O'Neal. Now Cooper from the back row. Fly, but she's got to deal with Horde, and Horde wins. Well, Horde getting inserted into this set and doing a phenomenal job. I like how she's just ready for any set, balanced, and then reaching up and over with her hands. Caitlin Horde. First time in a long time Columbus has had its full complement of talent on the floor. Took a while to get going, but... Leading here by two in the fourth set. Sponsel. Chasse. Softly done. And it threw Stringer and Cooper for a loop. Asia O'Neill taking a really fierce shot by the rise in that cross court dig. And after she made the dig, she kind of smiled like she almost surprised herself that she got that <laughs> dig. <laughs> Angel Perez doing his best efforts to help out the ball girl with the wet spot. Chasse, Cooper overhit it. Abbott made no mistake. 6-6 six, six. here early in set four. Anytime you pass an overpass, clearly the advantage goes to the blocker. 
That time it was all Abbott taking care of that ball. Chasse, she serves, Drexel goes back to Chasse. Joust right in the middle, Courtney Lush and Grote. It's gonna hit the antenna. And after another overpass from Columbus and the rise lead here in set four for the first time, 7-6. Love the sportsmanship I'm seeing Megan Courtney Lush going after the ball, kind of bumping into Ashley Evans, both of them making sure the other player was good. I love that sportsmanship here in Pro Volleyball Federation. Lots of respect. Fine defensive work by Abbott. Hoard again is ready for Chasse. Hoard knowing exactly what the tendencies are in this play. They go to Chasse, and you can see how Stringer, the right side blocker, comes in to help Hoard, taking away that side of the net. Nowhere to go on that swing. Hoard to stand out first at Penn State, then went to Nebraska. Courtney Lush preceded her in State College. Stringer would like a do-over, but it's even going to be hard to replicate any stoppage on what Dimitrova does from that side. Yeah, the tempo of that back row attack is so fast. It looks like it's a front row attack, and that's all because of Ashley Evans. She's moving forward. She's able to put the ball on a dime exactly where Dimitrova needs it to be successful on the swing. Well, from watching one great setter to talking to one, you know best when <laughs> it's fluid, you're setting the tempo and making things look easy. Leon, not her best, but got it back over. Grote, Sashe, no chance. Hit the seam and Cooper and Leon late to get over. Yeah, the creativity of Ashley Evans, the setter for the rise, to choose to set the back row attack as she's moving off the net. So again, it's good set, smart set, tricky set. The tricky set is the hardest set to make, and Ashley Evans makes the tricky set look fairly easy. It's pivotal time right now for the Fury. Down two. I want to quell any type of momentum Grand Rapids has at the moment. It's a good place to start, go through the arm of Drexel. Yeah, Fury right now passing, kind of breaking down for them, but Drexel being that outlet on the left side again, just muscles her way to getting a point here for the Fury. Off the fingertips of Jensen. And Evans, and here is Evans. Has to send that backwards. Helter Skelter, and then hammered too long. Okay, never I really look comfortable for Grand Rapids. Right, and I know the point didn't go to the rise, but Ashley Evans in the midst of that makes an incredible save. There you can see the hand of Abbott touching the top of the net as she's swinging through that tight set. 9-9. Nine, nine. Here in set four, Dima Trova going at Stringer. Drexel to the rescue. Abbott, a soft touch. Cooper's there. Drexel. It's long. Why did the free ball go to Dimitrova? And why was it short? Because you want to get Dimitrova out of the offense. As she came forward to play the ball, she's no longer an option to set offensively. And the block could read that that ball was going outside. So even though you're sending a free ball over, you want to be strategic as to where you're placing it. The seven-year pro Evan sets. It finishes with a Dimitrova-Jensen combo block. Yeah, that's a hard block to hit around. It's big, it's well-formed. You're gonna see Dimitrova reaches up and over. She's lining up perfectly with the approach of Reagan Cooper right now. Rise back up by two after the Fury had gotten even. Drexel. Chance rescuing it. Well, past the boundary. Hoard. And then Dimitrova. Abbott. A quick reflex. Drexel now. And sent over by Stringer. Sponsel. Leon. A oh, great rally with Drexel working the block again. If you're gonna tip the ball, you wanna keep it away from Valeria Leon. She shows lightning fast speed, picking up that ball, giving her team another opportunity to take a swing for a win. 
Back and forth here in set four. Cord shallow on the serve. 12-10 Grand Rapids. Each team has had 12 serve errors. And right now, to the bench, Shannon Skelly on to serve it for the rise. Jensen, how many times has she popped up in big spots, especially through those first two sets, and extends it to three for GR? Well, I think Jensen does a good job of reading what the setter can possibly do, and that one, Stringer was really kind of trapped, and the only thing she could do was set the middle. Speaking of the middle, there's a pretty good one wearing white for the home club, and that's O'Neal. Fan favorite here in Nationwide Arena. Asia O'Neal's presence is clearly being displayed here. Look at how she takes that ball, puts it in the perfect spot right in front of the setter. Chasse, she's calling for it because that's what she's going to do with it. Yeah. So there's the the look of a very confident outside hitter. As the ball is being passed, she is demanding the set. She is asking Ashley, not asking, begging for the ball. Give it to me, I'll put it away. There's Jensen, who's got four block points tonight. Stringer. And just enough of a tip in the touch. There's the athleticism of O'Neal. It might have not been the ball that she was looking for, but she adjusted midair. And when you know that the middle blocker is going back to serve, you're really honing in on where they're playing defense. That time, Jensen's playing left back. The tip goes right in front of her. These middles are very good athletes, but defense isn't their forte. Courtney Lush. Well, that's about the fourth time tonight the Fury have tried to work that cross quarter, and it's been long. It's a tough ball to put down. 15-12, the rise, the first to get there in set four, trying to close it out up 2-1 here in Columbus. Thrill because one of their best players is also one of the best players in the world. We get a chance to see Alicia Glass Childress laser that goes over. Alicia Glass Childress helps get that nice Vegas. Looking for their first set of the day. They've got it for Grand Rapids. Glass Childers with a sneak attack. Sour Glass Childers, Bell. And the Vegas Thrill come back to life, winning each of the last three sets. The wait is finally over. A concept years in the making becomes a reality tonight. We have stars that are sure to make a splash in terms of heads. There are stars everywhere you look. No secret that tonight is going to be epic. Prepare to make history. And we are underway. And what a start. And a serve for White. Billy picks out Donna Miller. Just so Set four here at Nationwide, 15-12 Grand Rapids. Columbus predominantly led throughout that third set to get on the board. And trying to even things up here after the rise took the first two, they're trying to take the first three of the four meetings between the two clubs. They will meet again at the end of April here at Nationwide. But the way this schedule manifests itself, you're Playing an Eastern foe one day and a home and home, and then you're going out west about three days later. Yeah, you talk to these coaches, and it is, it, it's a tough schedule sometimes to, to maintain, and oftentimes not a lot of uh, days in between to get some practice and to really kind of move that dial in terms of the things you need to get better at. Maybe more balance next year. Dallas, Kansas City, Indianapolis, all coming into the league to make it an even 10. Chasse. Makes it an even smash down the middle. 16-12. Yeah, Claire Chasse going high line with that, just extending her arm. You're going to see she keeps it high and right in that 6-1 seam there, middle back, right back, hits it beautifully. Stringer, O'Neal. Oh, <laughs> she knew right away. She's shouting on the way down to the floor. Yeah. 
the connection between Stringer and O'Neal, it takes a while to develop that. So they're looking so good here in the first match that they're playing together. I just kind of see that growing and continuing uh, to just get better and better. Yeah, been really good chemistry. You would never know that she was in Atlanta for the first seven matches of the season. Dima Trova can't come up with it. 16-14, so the last two to the Fury. Stringer really doing a good job there of lining up with a ball that's set inside, taking a shuffle step slightly to her left, getting her hands up and over to seal the area between her hands and the middle blocker's hands. Asia O'Neal, Dimitrova trying to put it down. Well, Chasse, little sachet to the middle. <laughs> Drexel, denied by the block, Grote pops up. And again, with Megan Courtney Lush going after the ball, playing the ball from her knees. Then the offense becomes a little bit more predictable. The middle, you can't set middle as you're coming off the net. There's one hitting option that sets up perfectly for a Grand Rapids block. 17-14 GR. Chasse serving. Stringer. Cross-court service. Looking for Courtney Lush. And she tried to go back the other way, but it's wide. Rise by four. We are Courtney Lush. Sponsel. Settles on the interior. Now Cooper. Drexel. Dimitrova. Leon. Leapt into action there. Courtney Lush wants that one back. Yeah, miss hit, miss timing. But hey, in the course of that rally, we saw some great digs by the libero. You can see she kind of hit that ball with her wrist. The former standout at Loyola Marymount Sponsel coming up big defensively. Rise by five. Here in set four, we'll step out back to Nationwide after this. for future generations. Nonhel Perez had to call timeout for the Fury. This team down five here in the fourth set. Grand Rapids trying to finish the job. Evans, Grote. Tossed it over. Courtney Lush off Evans, Point Columbus. Lush really working hard, getting so many contacts, not only on the swing, but forced to pass and then go outside, taking multiple swings before getting the point. One of three in double figure kills with O'Neill and Drexel. Courtney Lush leads the way with 12. Abbott, a hammer blow off that left side. Courtney Lush said that was touched. They oblige. Point for the Fury. Cooper going hard after that ball. She could have easily given up on it. Way out of her range. Shows great foot speed in the back court as she's playing middle back, keeping that ball alive. 19-16, last two to the Fury. Trying to avoid a second straight defeat on their home hardwood. Or terra flora, if you prefer. Dimitrova, Evans, what a dig. That was Stringer. 
Jab it. Leon, Drexel. Evans, just a quick little jab on that to keep it going. One of the best rallies of the night. And there's Sponsel, the former Olympian, and it's Sauche <laughs> right down High Street. Unbelievable. And take a look. Claire Chasse is starting her approach. It's a four-step approach. She's really taking off, really relying on the ball to be in just the right spot. She's not going to adjust her footwork at all. Again, big swing by Chasse. Great set by Evans. Lead is four. That's going to sneak down off the block of Horde. And Columbus gets back to within three and they'll serve down 2017. Hort has done a great job here, not only in blocking, but there you see offensively getting a little point there, a very important point for her team. And a couple of blocks. Courtney Lush, a sponsor back out there. Jensen tried quickly, Cooper. Dima Trova, Sashe. Rejected by the twine. When you're trying to push tempo, you're trying to set that ball as low as you can so that the speed is there. And you saw pretty good set, but that ball was dropping slightly before Claire Chausse made contact. So never cleared the net. And I think there's going to be a challenge to say that there was a net violation um, on the block as Claire Chausse was swinging the ball. Right now it stands a Fury Point 2018. Rise lead it two sets to one. They took the first two. You know, it's interesting. We were talking about Sponsel going mm -hmm. to break. Great career at Loyola Marymount. There you see Kathy George and having this discussion with her earlier in the day. Then you move to the beach game, yeah. where you've got to cover more court. There's a little bit more finesse. How hard is it to adjust to come back and play in the indoor world? Well, Sponsel makes it look so easy, but it's not, right? And so she has transitioned from beach to indoor beautifully. She's got great foot speed. Um, you know, she was a two-time um, beach national champ at UCLA in 2018 and 19. Uh, defensive player of the year on the AVP, um, a five-year member of Team USA in beach. So you would think you'd get adjusted to beach and just kind of be like, yeah, indoor is really not my game. Then the Pro Volleyball Federation comes along and you're like, you know what? I think I can set for you. I think I can be your libero. Her value to this Rise team is so great. She can play multiple positions. Right now, she's wearing the libero shirt for Grand Rapids, but I tell you, she was a great setter, great all-around player, um, and I just have really enjoyed watching her play tonight. Challenge is unsuccessful. Wanted to see if there was a block touch. 2018. And I'm telling you what, when Dimitrova is up there talking to the official, they're trying to extend this a little bit. You know, let's let's make this a little timeout. Let's make the Fury kind of think about their serve. So they're arguing uh, right now that there was a touch and. Uh, no, there's some gamesmanship yeah. going uh, on for yep. sure. Yep, that's what I'm seeing right now. Met a life in the game, 17 years, and of course, her husband Dennis, a Rise assistant coach. It was funny hearing from Kathy George. You would never know they were married. It's all business when they're on the floor <laughs> together. And he is the first to speak of any conviction to make sure that not only her game, but the team's is in the right frame of mind. So after all that, we're ready to play. Grand Rapids, five points away, but Columbus trying to pull off, get in range of a reverse sweep. Dima Trova, 
too much distance. Three straight for the Fury. And just like that, the Fury is back into it. Dimitrova, that ball set a little too far away, too far in front. She was really trying to save that set, hits it long. She'll go again. How about Horde? What a four set. Neil Horde has been the difference maker with this skill right here. Take a look at how high up she is over the net. There is absolutely no room to hit around. Great block there by Cooper and Horde. Horde, three blocks, two kills, all coming here in set four. Four straight for the Fury. It's all even at 20. And a fantastic finish coming up in this four set. The PBF on YouTube. needed point for the rise. The Fury had sent off the last four. Big moment there for Dimitrova out of that timeout. Coming through with a big swing. Critical point there. 21-20 Grand Rapids. Stringer, Horde, who's been huge here in set four. Dimitrova into that block that's got a lot of teeth going for Columbus. Cooper sent it to the side table. We were spectators and then involved in the play. I love the coverage that the Fury is showing right now. It's giving the outside hitters the confidence to swing big when you know if it gets into the block, someone's covering me, we can extend the rally and attempt a second swing or a third swing to get the point. So really good, impressive coverage here by the Fury to keep the ball alive. Good reception for Caitlin Horde on the bench. Ivano Ortiz, late on, gonna try and crescendo this momentum. Five of the last six points to Columbus, 21 all. Training staff is out for the rise for the moment. Melissa Jensen, I don't know if she got poked in the eye or needed some optical repairs, but doing their best. Interesting rotation here. Dimitrova is in serve receive. She's right along the net. She has to get from left side to the right side in order to be an offensive threat. Ortiz. Sashay's waiting on it. Well, she did what you were just speaking yep. of, and that was clutch. She's speed. As soon as that ball is served, she's running along the net and finds herself in that right front area of the court. So it's a difficult pattern for a lefty to get out of. Dimitrova showing no signs of backing down here in this set. Big side out point for Grand Rapids. And they give it right back. Simone Abbott, too strong. 22 all. Drexel will give it a crack. Yeah, it's a race to three points here. We'll see at this point, you have to be aggressive, but you have to eliminate unforced errors. An ace. Drexel, who came alive in that third set, and now the Fury in control. Isn't it funny how it all 
<laughs> to serve pass the game within the game in the trenches that's what it's all about a great aggressive serve serving with confidence samantha drexel getting a great serve over the net that the grand rapids rise could not control well and the way this thing is shaping up they're neck and neck in the standings third and fourth half a game separating them and columbus with their full complement of players for the first time in probably a month. Tooth and nail trying to grind their way back into 2-2 here on their home floor because they know this could have some huge value, especially when it comes to tiebreakers down the road. Yeah, you know, if you're the Columbus Fury, you really want to separate yourself in the standings uh, from Grand Rapids right now. And you just want to, you know, every match is important at this point, And there's so much parity in the league. You can never just count on an easy win. There's never an easy win in the Pro Volleyball Federation. So right now, if you're the Columbus Fury, you have to come out of the timeout knowing, hey, we've, we've, we've got this one. We need this one comes down to good serving hit your serving target block and dig for a point that's what makes it so compelling both these teams Vegas was on the mat coming into Columbus a week ago and they've taken two straight against these two clubs after losing seven of nine Grand Rapids has dropped four of five Columbus the last two but within two points of sending it to a fifth and decisive set. Hold the phone though, Chasse. They go to their tried and true and she evens things at 23. Yeah, showing her all American skill right there. Taking that perfect set, going high over top of the block. That was clutch for Chasse. And their serving specialist, Camila Gomez. And played two of the last three seasons in Brazil before joining the rise. O'Neal. Oh, oh, hit it into the net. Yeah, Groat floating over, but are they calling a violation on Grand Rapids? Now there's some confusion here. Yeah. The ball went off the block out of bounds, but Courtney Lush again taking control of serve receive. That is her backcourt. She moves Reagan Cooper out of the way. Hey, I got this pass. She delivers a perfectly placed pass to the setter. Set point for the Fury. Janasia Moore on to do the honors. Sashe. Moore got there. Helped by Leon. Evans, Dimitrova detonated. <laughs> 24 all. What she a swing. Hits, yeah, she hits the ball and then she just goes off. Like she is in, look at her there. She is just in the moment wanting to deliver the kill. Boy, what a stud she is on that right pin. And what a set this has been. Everyone on their feet. Dimitrova serves. O'Neal. Trova. They run her on the right pin and she goes cross court. Set point again for the Fury. O'Neill, number one draft pick. Look at her go. She's gonna have a long career. She's got 13 kills. It's tied for a Fury high and now she's serving for the fourth set. I'll say, got it back from Evans, got the point. Got to win by two, 25-24 rise. 25-25 all. Yeah, yeah, Claire Shaw say last two points came on her shoulder and she has been clutching these tight situations. Now she's in the backcourt. Shaw say, Leon, it's Courtney Lush. It finally fell. They've been trying that shot time <laughs> after time. And they'll try once more a third time for the set. She saw hands. She was able to trickle that one in inside the 10-foot line. Tori Stringer in her Fury debut. 
And a furious pushback in this fourth set went long. And neither team can get a stranglehold at the moment. 26 apiece. Well, this place is emotionally charged right now. Fans are on their feet. Crazy set. Columbus yet to close it out. Horde with Dimitrova, hung tough. Sashe. Now set point to the rise after they face going to a fifth three times. Ashley Evans moving off the net, setting her closest go-to hitter, that Chasse in the black court. And again, every point has come down to Chasse's swing, and she has delivered for her team. That's the sign of a champion. That's the sign of an all-star right there. 27-26. Great theater this fourth set. Rise took the first two, Columbus the third, 25-19. 15 kills for Claire Sauche, 20 for Amelia Dimitrova. That's a match high. But for the young Fury, and there are a lot of young components getting mm -hmm. back into it, go back to the Vegas match nine days ago, Audrey, where they had a chance to close out set two on a couple of occasions, they did not. And here in set four, nine days later, had three opportunities to get this to a fifth. You don't want to say growing pains, but that's the next phase of evolution, the execution to get it over the line. Yeah, points are not easy to get in this league. So, you know, you talk about how you got to get better, but boy, oh boy, when you're up against a tough opponent, it is neck and neck. This is what volleyball is all about. We're seeing high level of play on both sides of the net, and it's going to come down to who wants the ball. You got to want it at this point. You don't want to shy away from this moment. Groat, serving for the match. Horn, back to parody. Horn, the star here in set four. Horn has been spectacular. Janesha Moore, ball was targeted to her on serve receive. She's calm, composed, passes a great ball. That's a clutch moment there for Janesha Moore. We go on, 27 all. Sachet, Abbott had to really reach back on that. Leon. Cooper, Sponsor on the overpass. Abbott, Courtney Lush. One heck of an effort, but it spilled on her the wrong way. Rise serving again for the match. Well, you're in, I mean, this is such a treat, right? We're seeing high level of play. People just going hard after every ball. We'll see how this one ends up calling for a little bit of sweat to get wiped off the court, maybe a little bit of a timeout. Everybody's catching their breath here, making sure <laughs> that they're calm, composed, putting a little pressure on Evans, Grand Rapids right now. We've got her on the service line. On her 15th serve of the night. They go with Cooper. Stringer to Cooper. Columbus back even. Well, that's the great sign of an evolving player. Not just the kill, but knowing they were going to target her on that serve. Horde serving. Sanche. Not back there. Dimitrova with Drexel at the ready. Horde hit it over. Dimitrova just pummeled it off of Horde. She wanted to apologize because yeah. of the way that went off of her, but... My, oh, my, how impressive, the Bulgarian. Yeah, it is a treat watching. I'm just, uh, I mean, my jaw is on the ground right now. She is such a talented player, and what a classy player, making sure Horde's okay. This is the third time the Rise are serving for the match. Sponsel got it over. O'Neal. Sponsel goes again. Some key digs for the Rise. Yeah! But they can't get it right on the block. Courtney Lush on the outside. The fans of Nationwide Arena are just loving this, appreciating good volleyball on both sides of the net. What a swing there by Drexel. 
Good pick up at the side out. It's Dimitrova going at Drexel and then goes down the line on the recoil. That's nasty. That's so nasty. Dimitrova putting on a one woman show here. <laughs> she most certainly is. A great dig by Drexel on the first bomb that Dimitrova sent her way. Couldn't control it. She has 21 kills. Stringer for Cooper. That receive hit over O'Neal. They say with the reaction and the ball hitting the floor that it, the rise were up in arms thinking that O'Neal went into the net. Now, if she went into the net outside of the antenna, she's okay. If she hit the net inside of the antenna, uh, that is not allowed. So if she hit the, uh, the pole, the upright, um, that's perfectly fine. Now, is this, we're being told a fury challenge. Well, you can challenge after a challenge, too. I'm not quite sure who's challenging. It looked like uh, Kathy George, the head coach for the Rise, was challenging the attack by Asia O'Neill, whether she was in the net, whether she um, hit the antenna. Rise was very adamant about that initially. I mean, it is getting heated in the here. The match hangs these, in the balance here with this call. Yeah, these players are, are, are talking a little bit there. And that is what they're challenging, the net touch. It's the Fury's point. So that clipped the antenna. And Dimitrova over to argue. No, they said net touch. We saw. And you see Courtney Lush up there, Dimitrova up there. They are fired up. Courtney Lush loving this. So it's 30 all. Yeah, tied again. There was still some perplexion there. But Dimitrova says, stop that, you won't. For the fourth time now in a row, it's the Rise looking to finish out maybe one of the best sets in the year in the league. Yeah, Dimitrova on a mission right now. 31-30, Grand Rapids. Goes at Cooper. Courtney Lush. Sponsel. Sashe. They fight to keep it alive. Sashe at Cooper. Dima Trova. Sashe again. The game to the rise. What a rally, what a defensive effort from Columbus, who had three opportunities to get this thing to a fifth set. But Amelia Dimitrova and Claire Chasse, they are showstoppers, and they took over when it mattered most for the rise of Grand Rapids. Yeah, I think Dimitrova will get the recognition that she deserves after her performance. And you're right, Claire Chasse, key moment, she was scoring big for the rise. And it all came on the, off the hands of Ashley Evans, just setting a superb match tonight. But even, even though the Fury lost, I know they're gonna be disappointed. Great competitive spirit on both sides of the net. Especially that four set, it sets the bar. That was enthralling stuff, especially the last seven to eight points. Yeah, I mean, that just goes to show how close this league is. These sets, these matches can really go either way. Uh, I just saw some, just such high level of play on both sides of the net. It was just impressive, fun to watch tonight. But out of the clouds of the 
furious end to that four set. The reality, the rise have beaten Columbus three times. Yep. They're back to five and five. Columbus with a three match losing streak now mm -hmm. slips to four and five. And now Atlanta in a home and home, the top team in the league is coming up over their next two matches. Yeah, it doesn't get any easier for the Fury, that's for sure. But here's the bright spot. This has been the first time this lineup has been on the court. So think about what Coach Angel Perez can do with this. How is this team going to get better? What can they do to execute? They missed some opportunities there. I'm sure he's going to rein it in, make sure they're working on those tiny things that you know, didn't allow them to win tonight, but he's got to be leaving this one kind of pleased with the competitive spirit of his team. And that's a great element to bring up. How do they get it to look more like sets three and four playing together with this nucleus of what they think will be there for the stretch run as opposed to how it started in one and two? Yeah, you train hard because it always comes back to your training. So again, I don't think this unit, the, the six, seven, eight people have worked together and so they're still trying to develop that chemistry, which again, it didn't appear that they were lacking chemistry at all. So I think Angel Perez, they're great at analyzing the data, um, but it's super hard to stop a player like Dima Trova when she is hot. They really couldn't find a way to slow her down. So, you know, she is a force to be reckoned with. Um, a star for the Grand Rapid Rise. So tough when you reach, uh, you're competing against somebody like her with such a high reach, high level of play, uh, competitiveness that, boy, you just saw it on her face how fired up she was at key moments there in the fourth set. She had 54 attacks, yeah. only four errors, yep. 23 kills, just an efficient night all around, a masterful night really when you talk about Amelia Dimitrova. 16 kills for Claire Sauche, helping to put out the final point in set number four. 13 kills for O'Neal, 14 for Courtney Lush, Drexel with 11, and they got eight from Reagan Cooper, who I would say the kryptonite has been when they have taken on Grand Rapids for the star hitter for Columbus, and yet this was a team that hit 108 the last time they played. So a big stretch of improvement there, and now you see the Atlanta vibe coming up on Sunday, March 24th, that's a home and home in a couple of days. And then next Friday, Orlando comes to town. So this is still a big stretch and it's more important to get back to the good vibrations of the first two matches when they were victorious here on home floor because it's tough to win on the road too. Oh. It's tough to win on the road, as we see. It's tough to win at home. Uh, but the advantage is, is you're sleeping in your own bed. You're able to get some sleep. You're able, you know, to just relax, be in your home setting. Um, and, again, the fans here in Nationwide Arena delivered. They were up on their feet, willing their team, trying to get them to win that fourth set. It was entertaining. It was high level. It was my pleasure to be here tonight. It was great being here with you, and we look forward to uh – our Friday show, of course, she will be here Sunday for the 2 o'clock first serve. Columbus and the first place team in the PVF here in its inaugural year, the Atlanta Vibe. There were three with double doubles tonight for the rise in victory. Columbus got four in double figure digs to go with four in double figure kills in defeat. But the rise have taken all three this season against Columbus. And they do it tonight in four sets and a wild one in set four, 32-30. Our great crew led by Adam Dell, Yamo Media, Grace Hecken -Likely, Lively, and Ahmad Taylor. We thank them for their hard work. We thank you for watching. Roger Flaw, the Ohio State Hall of Famer. I'm Neil Sika. Grand Rapids over Columbus in four sets. Three sets to one. You've been watching the PVF on YouTube from Nationwide Arena in downtown Columbus. Good night.